Okay, again, reminder to our viewers, this is your last chance to join our raffle today. After the upcoming talk, we will be announcing the lucky viewer who will win 3,000 pesos worth of dining credits at Jainting Restaurant at the City of Dreams in Paranaque City. And another lucky viewer will bring home 7,000 pesos worth of dining credits at Halia Restaurant, also at the City of Dreams in Paranaque City. To join the raffle, take a screenshot of your favorite talk and register at the link our staff is posting in the comment section of this live broadcast. Best of luck, everyone. Now, the final talk for this afternoon's session and for the first Manila Bulletin Sustainability Forum will reveal how the Coca-Cola is utilizing well the precious resource that is water, enough for it to last for future generations. Presenting Water Stewardship is the president of Coca-Cola Foundation Philippines Inc., Ms. Cecile Alcantara. Good afternoon. As a social investment arm of Coca-Cola Philippines, Coca-Cola Foundation Philippines has been working on capacitating and empowering local communities toward a better shared future. Our water stewardship programs have reached out to local communities by providing access to safe water, protecting and restoring watersheds, and educating citizens on the importance of conservation in order to ensure that water continues to flow for life. Needless to say, water is essential for the survival of nature and of communities. Unfortunately, one in every 10 Filipinos still do not have access to improved water sources, and that's according to the World Health Organization. And thus, they are prone to waterborne diseases. And many of the country's watersheds, which feed our precious sources of water, are in critical condition. These are what drive our water stewardship work. The Coca-Cola company has a global commitment to return every drop of water used in its beverages back to nature and communities. Coca-Cola Foundation Philippines supports this goal. And since 1992, we have worked with different partners on projects that have provided safe water access to thousands of Filipinos across hundreds of underserved areas in the Philippines. For instance, through our AGOS program, the foundation has helped communities gain access to water, not only for domestic use, but for productive purposes as well, such as for agricultural use and sustaining livestock. Of equal importance to us is the conservation of our watersheds. This requires not just tree planting, but working with communities and key stakeholders to ensure the sustainability of the reforestation efforts. The P for Water project, in partnership with USAID and Muad Negros, a local federation of farming groups, is proving to be a successful model of an integrated and inclusive water security framework in action. Upland farmers have benefited from training courses on nursery establishment and propagation. Several community green farms and nurseries have been built for vegetables, fruits, and trees, generating savings for farmers. And I'm happy to share that we've helped increase women's participation as well. Another project which started in 2016 is the rehabilitation of the Ipo watershed in Bulacan province, the main source of water for the majority of the national capital region and adjacent provinces. The project helped to conserve more than half of the Sapamunti micro watershed in partnership with the World Wildlife Fund for Nature Philippines, or WWF Philippines. The Global Coca-Cola Foundation also provided additional grant support to the project, which replenishes over 1 million liters per day, helping to ensure a more sustainable water supply for residents within the watershed and Metro Manila. Coca-Cola Foundation Philippines continues to work with WWF Philippines for watersheds in other areas, with studies underway on watersheds in Iloilo and Cebu. In parallel with our water stewardship efforts at the community level, the Philippines franchise bottler, Coca-Cola Beverages Philippines, continues to improve water efficiency in all of the company's bottling facilities. We are proud to share 
that CCBPI was awarded Best in Water Resource Management by the European Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines during its first Europa 2020 awards. The citation for CCBPI's intensive and comprehensive water efficiency programs, which it applies in the operations of all its 20 plants, covers water saving initiatives, such as smart design for optimal body bottle washing, reducing unnecessary backwashing, recovering and using water for maintenance tasks, and its use of advanced technologies. The latter includes the company's state-of-the-art wastewater treatment facilities that processes used water to a quality that is viable for return to the ecosystem. In 2020, this translated to a 31% decrease in absolute water consumption and an improvement in its water use ratio, or the amount of water used per liter of beverage produced. Its top performing plants in terms of water efficiency include its manufacturing sites in Davao del Sur, Misamis Oriental, and Bacolod City. In synergy and looking toward the company's 2030 water strategy, we pledge to continue to go beyond good for the communities we serve and support water security in our operations, local communities, and watersheds. As I conclude my speech, I hope that all the companies represented today can harness their influence and capacity to be good stewards and thus inspire more and more people to support and create solutions that will benefit our communities and nature for generations to come. Thank you and a pleasant afternoon to everyone. Water is essential for life, for nature, and even for the business of the Coca-Cola company. And yet, one in every 10 Filipinos still do not have proper access to water necessary to sustain daily life. And we want to help drive that change. We are carrying on with our promise to return every drop of water we use in our drinks to nature and communities. For years and years, we have provided safe water access to over thousands of residents across hundreds of underserved areas through projects and partnerships. And we will continue to reduce shared water challenges, enhance community water resilience, and improve the health of priority watersheds to ensure that more Filipinos will have a sustainable supply of clean water. Because we believe that for everyone and for everything, water matters. Thank you, Ms. Cecile Alcantara. Let's now have our Q&A and talk more about Coca-Cola's water stewardship efforts. First, when you compare notes with other ASEAN Coca-Cola franchisees, do you find that the Philippines might be behind in terms of the general public's awareness and understanding about sustainability? I think uh, in general, um, it's about the same everywhere we go. Uh, that the issue of sustainability is needs to be, um, there's still a lot of educating that needs to be done with the general public in terms of uh, what sustainability is and what they can do in terms of sustainability. So uh, I believe we're not behind, but uh, it's probably the same situation um, across Asia. What do you think are the steps we need to take to get the public at large to appreciate and understand more the importance of sustainability, especially since the clock is ticking? A lot of stakeholders um, have their own role to play. You know, and I believe the business sector has a big role uh, that it can take the lead on um, in terms of educating the public on sustainability. And number one of that would be in terms of uh, just sharing what its actions are in terms of sustainability so that uh, the public can better appreciate uh, what the, what, because sometimes there's a misconception that business is not doing anything about sustainability when in fact, in a lot of, a lot of times it's the driver. So yeah. uh, talking about what they do is a big factor. And also 
uh, using its platform and educating the public and what the public can do in partnership uh, in terms of sustainability. Your AGOS program for underserved communities, there are so many remote areas today. What and how do you prioritize in order to be as effective as possible? Yeah, you're, you're right, no, remote. There are so many remote areas around the country. And our, our first requirement is that our partner must have presence, our partner NGO must have presence in the locality so that it can really, um, it'll know the situation and it can be there to help sustain the project. Uh, second would be very cooperative LGUs. Um, very important to ensure that the project does not die after we phase out. So, um, so we, in terms of prioritizing, we go where the need is. Speaking of LGUs, Coca-Cola is well positioned to make a strong impact. You use partnership and collaborations with LGUs and NGOs. Is that sometimes challenging? Working with NGOs has been our, like our template. Our projects are working with NGOs because they're the ones who know development, they know the areas, and uh, they are anchor in the areas. LGUs uh, depends. There are LGUs that are proactive. There are LGUs that uh, need some nudging. But, uh, you know, once the relationship has been developed uh, and a good partnership, uh, has evolved, no, um, the problems uh, go away. One Coca-Cola mantra I hear is water, waste, and well-being. How does well-being come into play and what are the practical components of this within the Coca-Cola sustainability umbrella? Well, yeah, well, you're right. The well-being is such a broad term. Uh, in fact, it's hard to define. But um, basically, if you, if you look at all the different def definitions, it uh, just redounds to a state of happiness and contentment and an improved quality of life. So that's still general, right? So for the foundation, we prefer to focus on improving well-being uh, just on two, in two areas, particularly on in communities or families that are impacted by disasters. So we try to uh, uplift uh, their condition by um, providing disaster response as soon as we can uh, through partner NGOs also and the local uh, Coca-Cola facilities. Um, also in terms of helping them rebuild their lives like uh, with shelter assistance uh, during um, the typhoons. No? Second, um, and as important, is education. Uh, this is one long-term uh, commitment we've had since the foundation began in 86. Uh, it just um, gives hope, not just to the child, but to the parents and the community. You know? uh, it's a big, big thing that education can do in terms of just uplifting the well-being of communities. And so those two areas are our focus in terms of well-being. And, uh, well, our mantra at the foundation is sharing happiness. So uh, that's our way of sharing happiness. Do you get encouraged by the fact that it seems that the younger generation is more appreciative of what sustainability means? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, in fact, it, that's a very encouraging um, outlook because they're more involved in the communities where they are. And especially, I would think, even more the environment. They're very aware and uh, they're more willing to, you know, um, do their do whatever they can to to make uh, the environment a better place. They're aware that it will determine their future. So, so that's very okay. encouraging. Cecile, is volunteerism an important aspect of this? Well, uh, yes. Even internally, uh, employees are very, very willing to uh, volunteer, and the profile of employees is also becoming is becoming younger. So you see that desire to keep to volunteer their time and their resources uh, to help the community. Again, thank you to the president of Coca-Cola Foundation Philippines Inc., Ms. Cecile Alcantara. Wow, what an insightful afternoon. I am Anne Gauthier, and now let me turn you over to our host, Isa Litton. Thank you very, very much, Anne. And of course, to all of our speakers this afternoon for an absolutely jam-packed session. In fact, it hasn't just been this afternoon. It has been an absolutely jam-packed 
two days online with all of our generous speakers. Thank you to Anne Gauthier and Mika Pineda as well for facilitating the actual talks. And if you find yourself overwhelmed, don't worry. Now to give us a summary of the forum and to present a call to action, we have the publisher of Manila Bulletin, Secretary Herminio Sunny B. Coloma Jr. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. Realizing this, we need to do our part here and now to create a more sustainable future. We have launched the first Manila Bulletin Sustainability Forum to build awareness on the need for people to work together. Sustainability permeates every aspect of human activity. The United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals cover every imaginable aspect of our daily lives. Water, food, shelter and clothing, health, education and energy, jobs and justice, peace and freedom. The work of attaining and ensuring Sustainability goes on 24 by 7, even as we pause from it, harsh realities set in. Forest fires break out in California and in Brazil's Amazon forest. Destructive floods kill thousands in Pakistan and China. Levels of greenhouse gas emissions continue to rise unchecked, despite avowed national commitments pledged at high-profile global summits. These are events that we record and report on daily in the Manila Bulletin's platforms. By inviting our partners to participate in this forum, we are raising our involvement to the next level. Last month, we revived our face-to-face -face Sketchfest involving children, youth, budding professional artists in Davao, Cebu, and Metro Manila with the theme, Saving the Earth. The images they produced impel us to reflect. Are we sufficiently aware of the breadth and depth of the sustainability challenge? Or, as former U.S. Vice President Al Gore cautioned the world nearly two decades ago, are we still looking away at an inconvenient truth? For two days, we are reaching out to a national audience together with organizations that have joined costs with us. Our co-presenters, Coca-Cola, Unilever, and Wilcon. We are also joined by our supporters, City of Dreams Manila, Artaland, BPI, Philinvest, Grohe, ICTSI, Mega World, SM Investments, Watsons, and Airspeed. We also thank SGV, our technical advisor. Together, we are viewing sustainability from the ground up, first in the way we live and work, and even in leisure and recreational activities. Then we zoom out and look at a broader perspective. First, Ecotourism as a way of generating jobs and livelihood while raising awareness on the incomparable beauty of our islands. Second, how sustainability makes good business sense in the long term for profit-seeking corporations. Third, how a sustainability mindset and outlook is beneficial to employees and the community who are enterprise partners and stakeholders. And fourth, Becoming mindful of the global impact of sustainability. How our actions as individuals and families, communities and nations ultimately create an impact on our planet. True to our mission of being an exponent of Philippine progress, we sound a call for action. Let us do what we can do today. Let us work together to ensure that future generations shall continue to bask 
in the light of a million mornings that will fill our hearts and shine through our lives. Thank you. Mabuhay!